One of the more frequently asked questions I see on cruise message boards is, what can I ask my cabin steward to bring or do for me? As I keep seeing the same limited list of suggestions, I decided to make this because based on my experience, I can see cruisers are missing out on so many more things cabin stewards can do and can bring. Welcome aboard, I'm Gary Bembridge, making it easy for you to ensure that your cabin steward can help make your next cruise even more amazing. Before I get into the physical stuff that they can bring that I know you'll want to know about, I want to talk about some even more valuable and underused ways cabin stewards can add to your cruise. First, information. One question I always ask my cabin steward when I meet them for the first time is, what does this cabin grade I'm in get me? Now I ask this for two key reasons. First, every cruise line has different perks, inclusions, and included extras, even for the same grades. So say like a balcony cabin. So for example, the balcony cabin on Majestic Princess that I was in a few weeks after I'd been on one in Norwegian Encore, it had a very different set of perks and inclusions, like it had a common beach bag, it had bottles of water that would be replaced, which I didn't have on Norwegian. Second, cruise lines frequently change the inclusions and perks. So even when you're returning to a familiar line, I always like to check. So for example, on returning to Oceania just the other month, I found I was going in the same grade that I had last time, but now it included three free sets of laundry and had a canapé menu that I could choose from each day, which I didn't have last time. But I've actually now found a second equally revealing question that I always ask the cabin steward. So now I ask my cabin steward, what are the things you get most requested to do or bring most frequently these days? Now this sometimes throws up things that they can do, but I forgot to mention in the first question. Although I will get into a full list of things you can get later, I did find through asking that the six most asked for things by passengers are regular ice bucket refills, glasses and a corkscrew, uh, if it's not in the cabin standard, extra hangers, extra towels, and a paper copy of the daily program. Another thing which a cabin steward can do that most passengers don't tap into is provide tips and tricks about the ship, the itinerary, and importantly, the port. Let me give you a couple of examples. First, for tips about the ship, I'm gonna come back to the laundry example. When I was on Norwegian Viva recently, I asked my cabin steward about doing some laundry because I'd been on a pre-cruise stay and I had kind of a pile of dirty washing. He told me, don't put it in now, wait until day three of the cruise because every three days there would be a promotion where I could fill a bag for a low fixed price and it was dramatically cheaper than sending it away when I was planning to. So that was a great tip from him. Cruise lines tend to run the same promotions and offers like this kind of on a regular schedule during the cruise and the cabin steward of course can tip me, tip you off on what is likely to be coming up. Next, the cabin steward can usually give me fantastic port tips. For example, on a recent Silver Sea South African trip three months ago, I had a lot of concerns around safety of exploring ports alone. Now my cabin steward was able to tell me what ports I should absolutely not go exploring by myself and which were okay based on his and other crew experiences. So for example, he said in Durban, I should do an excursion or use the same taxi service that all the crew do when they're there to go to a very specific mall because the taxi would wait, charge a set fee. And he also recommended the best restaurant to go to try traditional South African babuti and bunny chow food. He also suggested the best eSIM to buy based on his experience, which was a company called Aerolo. Now, my mobile service plan didn't have roaming in South Africa and I needed good 4G because the Wi-Fi on the ship was not great and I needed to do some video uploading. I wanted also the security when I was out and about of being connected uh, when I was exploring. I wanted to know that I had that. He was also able to tell me, by the way, of course, the best place in each of the port to go for Wi-Fi, if I was trying to find a pharmacy or a grocer and so on. I also found the cabin steward is often the best person to solve little problems. For example, on another recent cruise on MSC Virtuosa this time, a friend of mine was also on and they'd broken the handle of their suitcase. They spoke to their cabin steward and he was able to get it sorted out by connecting them to a handyman on the ship who was very happy to do it for a small tip. Now, let me talk about the more specific things a cabin steward can bring and do for you in your cabin beyond those six most asked for items that I mentioned earlier. There are actually eight key things that I think you should know about. First is around beds 
and sleeping. The cabin steward can change the setup of beds. Now most cabins on cruise ships uh, have two beds that can be set up as twins or get pushed together to make a double bed. They can change that configuration very easily. They can also move the side table configuration around. So for example, my sister really likes her bed being against the wall on one side when she sleeps. So she will ask for the bed to be against the wall instead of a side table each side and the side tables moved. You can ask for changes of configuration like that. They can also usually change your pillows. I really like a feather pillow, but not all lines have them as standard. I found almost every time, no matter the grade of the line or what level I'm in, the cabin steward can usually find me at least one feather pillow. They can also make the bed harder or they can make the bed softer by bringing in a mattress topper to make, of course, the bed softer. Uh, also get rid of that uncomfortable line where the two beds are pushed together. Uh, and often they can bring a board to put under the mattress to make it firmer if you want the mattress to be firmer. Of course, they can do other things like bring extra blankets. I also often ask my cabin steward to change the bed linen less frequently. Now on some lines like Oceana Vista recently, they actually asked whether I wanted the bed changed less frequently. You know, it's a small environmental move, but it also gives them less work to do as well. Which links me to my next point around frequency of service. Some lines have gone to once a day cabin service like Norwegian Cruise Line, p Cruises, and some that do have twice a day are offering the option to opt into once a day, like I was on a Holland America trip recently and they had that option. And of course you can just simply ask for it even less if you prefer uh, from your cabin steward if you only want it done every couple of days. However, what I personally like to do is to get the cabin steward to tailor when my cabin is serviced to meet my schedule, which they are usually really willing to do. For example, I tend to go to breakfast in the main dining room if I can for breakfast every day and just when it opens. So I ask my cabin steward at the start of the cruise if they can do my room at that time each day. The same for dinner because I eat early when it opens so I can then do some post dinner work on my channel, upload videos and that sort of stuff. And then I go and see and explore the ship later on. The cabin steward then does my room really early to match with my dinner and my plans to return to the cabin. So you can get them to tailor the timing of your service. But anyway, let's get back to the cabin itself and see what they can do for you in the bathroom. Now, many cruise ships have moved to those big refillable toiletry bottles. If you really don't like using them, you can ask them if they've still got the small individual bottles that the line used before. Now, although it's becoming increasingly rare, Quite a few of them still have stocks of the small individual bottles as they phase them out and often the cabin steward can rustle some up. Now on luxury lines they still use them as standard. Also check with the steward if they have a choice of brands as many of them do and they'll just set up with the most popular brand or with what the last guest used. Now on some of them I found that I could replace the Bulgari toiletries which are fine with L'Occitan that I love just by asking. They can of course bring other things that you might need like a sharps container or a magnifying mirror for shaving or makeup if there's not one as standard in the cabin itself. They're also normally able to empty your minibar if you want to have it cleared to store your own drinks and snacks or you also just want it cleared to resist the temptation or risk of buying those costly minibar items, especially because minibar items are not usually included in your drinks package. The other thing that I found is possible sometimes is if a cruise line offers perks in some grades but actually aren't available in your grade, it's sometimes possible that the cabin steward can swing it, I've found. The one that they can most often get is bathrobes and the other that I've not tried but friends of mine have and they say that they've been very successful is ask for a coffee machine or tea and coffee making facilities. They have been successful asking for that. You can also ask cabin stewards to not make towel animals if, they're, if you're on a line that does them because you're worried it could basically take up too much time getting in the way. Or you can ask them to make very specific ones if you have one as a favorite. If a line doesn't do towel animals as standard and you're perhaps traveling with kids and you really want one, talk to the cabin steward and see if they will make them one because often they will be more than delighted to. If you need extension cords, the cabin steward will of course try and help, especially if you've got those CPAP machines. But if you really do need one to plug in a machine like that, it's absolutely essential that the cruise line knows in advance so they can ensure that they have one that will enable you to have the machine next to the bed. Really important that they know in advance. Depending on the line, I've actually found the cabin steward can sometimes help with adapters or even chargers. On one region cruise, I'd 
for some reason forgotten to pack my bag that's got adapters and chargers. And when I asked the camera steward if he knew, first of all, if the onboard shop sold adapters and where in the next port I could buy an iPhone charger, he actually brought me both of them. I think they were probably left in the lost and found by past passengers. Is there anything that you found a cabin steward has done for you that I haven't mentioned? If so, leave it in the comments. But while you think about that, join me over in this video where I share things that polite cruisers do that actually drive cabin steward and crew crazy and find out why. See you over there.